darkness of white you can through the sadness take your flight and become the wings that pierce the veil spreading strong and true By the cold exposing sun I was granted freedom tamed To become the chosen one Through the mirror night reflected Miraculous to see My soul threw away the mask That hides the deeper me Breaking the dark of night Piercing through the painted white Today, till a new era's inside Unlock the heart within Let it spread its wings and soar Rising up in flight Through the night of white And fly on in our territory. The Sunning Rocks belong to ThunderClan. <laughs> After tonight's I go. This will just be another way for clan hunting. You may swim like otters, but you and your warriors do not belong in this forest. Mouse fur, run! Tiger Claw! This is useless. There are too many River Clan warriors. No, Red Tail! Thunder Clan will never be beaten! This is our territory! Thunder Clan will honor your courage, Tiger Claw. But we cannot afford to lose any more warriors to fight against these impossible odds. We will have another chance to revenge this defeat. Retreat, Thunder Clan! Retreat! How's Mousefur? Her wounds are deep, Blue Star, but she is young and strong. She will heal quickly. And the others? They will all recover too. <sighs> we are lucky not to have lost any of our warriors this time. You are a gifted medicine cat, Spotted Leaf. I am deeply troubled by tonight's defeat. ThunderClan has not been beaten in its own territory since I became leader. These are difficult times for our clan. The season of New Leaf is late and there have been fewer kits. ThunderClan needs more warriors if it is to survive. But the year is only just beginning. There will be more kits when Greenleaf comes. Perhaps. But training our young to become warriors takes time. If ThunderClan is to defend its territory, it must have new warriors as soon as possible. Are you asking? 
Green Star Clan for answers? It is at times like this we need the words of ancient warriors to help us. Has Star Clan spoken to you? Not for some moons, Blue Star. It's a message from Star Clan. Fire alone can save our planet. Fire? But fire is feared by all the clans. How can it save us? I do not know. But this is the message Star Clan has chosen to share with me. You have never been wrong before, Spotted Leaf. If Star Clan has spoken, then it must be so. Fire will save our clan. Hey, where are you off to, Rusty? Hello, Smudge. You're not going into the woods, are you? Just for a look. <laughs> you wouldn't get me in there. It's dangerous. Henry said he went into the woods once. That fat old tabby never went into the woods. He's hardly been beyond his own garden since his trip to the vet. All he wants to do is eat and sleep. No, really. He caught a robin in there. Well, if he did, then it was before the vet. Now he complains about birds because they disturb his dozing. Ugh. Well, anyways, Henry told me there are all sorts of dangerous animals out there. Huge wild cats who eat live rabbits for breakfast and sharpen their claws on old bones. I'm only going for a look around. I won't stay long. <laughs> well, don't say I didn't warn you.
it's impossible to run away. I must take the challenge. Hi there, kitty pet. You put up quite a fight for a tame kitty. And I'll fight you again if I have to. I'm Graypaw, by the way. I'm training to be a ThunderClan warrior. What's a kitty pet like you doing out in the woods? If you're the most dangerous thing the woods has to offer, then I think I can handle it. Oh, I'm far from the most dangerous. If I were even half a warrior, I would give an intruder like you some real moves to think about. Anyway. I didn't think it was worth hurting you. You're obviously not from one of the other clans. Other clans? You must have heard of the four warrior clans that hunt around here. I belong to Thunder Clan. The other clans are always trying to steal prey from our territory. Especially Shadow Clan. They're so fierce they would have ripped you to shreds, no questions asked. They come to take prey that is rightfully ours. It's the job of the Thunder Clan warriors to keep out of our territory. When I'm finished with my training, I'll be so dangerous. All the other clans shaking at their flea bitten skins. They won't dare come near us then. So you're not a warrior yet? Why? Did you think I was? I won't be a real warrior for ages. I have to go through training first. Kids have to be six moons old before they even begin training. Tonight is my first night out as an apprentice. Why don't you find yourself an owner with a nice cozy house instead? There are plenty of house folk who take in a kitten like you. All you have to do is sit where they can see you and look hungry for a couple of days. And they'd feed me pellets that look like rabbit droppings and soft slop? No way! I can't think of anything worse than being a kitty pet. They're nothing but two legs toys. Eating stuff that doesn't look like food, making a dirt in a box of gravel, sticking their noses outside only when the two legs allow them. That's no life. Out here, it's wild and it's free. We come and go as we please. Until you've tasted a fresh kill mouse, you haven't lived. Have you ever tasted one? No, not yet. I guess you'll never understand. You weren't born wild. It makes a big difference. You need to be born before your blood in your veins, or the feel of the wind in your whiskers. Kitties born from two leg nests can never feel the same way. I smell cats from my clan. You should go. They won't be pleased if they find you hunting in our territory. But... but I don't smell anything. Quick! What's going on here? Blue Star! You shouldn't be so near the too late place, Greypaw. I know, Lionheart. I'm sorry. Who is this? He's no threat. He's not another clan warrior, just a two-leg pet from beyond our territory. This is Blue Star. She's leader of my clan. And Lionheart. He's my mentor, which means he's training me to be a warrior. Thank you for the introduction, Grey Paul. You fight well for a two-leg pet. We have been watching you both. We wondered how you would deal with an intruder, Grey Paul. You attacked him bravely. Sit up now, both of you. You too, Kitty Pet. You reacted well to the attack, Kitty Pet. Graypaw is stronger than you, but you used your wits to defend yourself, and you turned to face him when he chased you. I've not seen a Kitty Pet do that before. I have been wondering how you would perform out here beyond the Two Leg Place. We patrol this border frequently, so I have often seen you sitting on your boundary, staring out into the forest. And now, at last, you have dared to place your paws here. You do seem to have a natural hunting ability. Sharp eyes. 
You would have caught that mouse if you had not hesitated so long. R really? Blue Star, this is a kitty pet. He should not be hunting in ThunderClan territory. Send him home to his two legs. Send me home? But I've only come here to hunt for a mouse or two. I'm sure there's enough to go around. There's never enough to go around. If you didn't live such a soft, overfed life, you would know that. You threaten our clan when you take our food. You have plenty of food in your two-leg nest already. You come here only to hunt for sport, but we hunt to survive. I had not thought of it that way before. I'm sorry. I will not hunt here again. You are an unusual kitty pet, Rusty. <sighs> Is survival here really so hard? Our territory covers only part of the forest. We compete with other clans for what we have. And this year, late new leaf means prey is scarce. Is your clan very big? Big enough. Our territory can support us, but there is no prey left over. Are you all warriors then? Some are warriors. Some are too young, or too old, or too busy caring for kits to hunt. And you all live and share prey together? Perhaps you should find out these things for yourself. Would you like to join ThunderClan? If you did, you would train with Greypaw to become a clan warrior. But kitty pets can't be warriors. They don't have warrior blood. Warrior blood. Too much of that has been spilt lately. Blue Star is only offering you training, young kit. There is no guarantee that you would become a full warrior. It might prove too difficult for you. After all, you are used to a comfortable life. Why offer me the chance, then? You are right to question our motives, young one. The fact is, ThunderClan needs more warriors. Understand that Blue Star does not make this offer lightly. If you wish to train with us, we will have to take you into our clan. You must either live with us and respect our ways, or return to your two-leg place and never come back. You cannot live with a paw in each world. Are you wondering if it's worth giving up your comfortable kitty pet life? But do you realize the price you will pay for your warmth and food? The clan may not be able to offer you such easy food or warmth. In the seasons of Leaf Fair, nights in the forest can be cruel. The clan will demand great loyalty and hard work. You will be expected to protect the clan with your life if necessary. And there are many mouths to feed. But the rewards are great. You will remain a Tom. You will be trained in the ways of the wild. You will learn what it is to be a real cat. The strength and the fellowship of the clan will always be with you, even when you hunt alone. Come, Blue Star. Let's not waste any more time here. We must be ready to join the other patrol at Moon High. Tiger Claw will wonder what has become of us. Wait! Can I think about your offer? Lionheart will be here tomorrow at Sun High. Give him your answer then. I met some wildcats. What? Did you get into a fight? Were you hurt? What happened? They just warned me to leave their territory. But then, they asked me to join their clan. Why would they do that? I don't know. I think they need extra paws in their clan. I wouldn't trust them if I were you. Wildcats ain't friendly. But- Don't be silly, Rusty. You wouldn't go far with those wild animals. I do trust them. I felt so... strong just by talking to them. I've made up my mind. I'm going to join them to share their adventures. I wouldn't trust him if I were you. Whoa, young one. I've heard a lot of 
about you. This is Whitestorm, one of ThunderClan's senior warriors. We are here only to take you back to our camp. <gasps> Come, we can speak more once we are in camp. Doesn't this child turn back? Ah! What kind of strength does he possess? What? Use the wind to help shorten distance between the branches. What a clever kid. <laughs> but I still want to see how much you can handle it. As long as I follow Lionheart's claw marks, I shouldn't get lost. are gone. How am I supposed to? <sighs> I smell cats from my clan. You should go. They won't be pleased if they find you hunting in our territory. But, but I don't smell anything. Quick! Wind. The scent of white storm. Follow the scent of white storm. Another one of Lionheart's claw marks! They must have left many trees at once. <sighs> he really is as Blue Star said. She saw no fear in his eyes, even when she scolded him. It's unusual for a house pet. But she also wants us to test his determination. Do you think he can catch our scent from here? White Storm! Lionheart! Are you around here? Hmm, I believe he's done so already. He learns fast. I'll leave him to you for now. White Storm! Lionheart! Huh? Ah! Uh. <gasps> White Storm? Where's Lionheart? <laughs> I can't. 
killed him. No way! You're both ThunderClan warriors! You, you can't kill each other! There is nothing a wildcat can't do. <gasps> Don't you know the rules of the clan cats? The rule is- The rule is to <laughs> become the most powerful. You'll have to remove everything in your way. <laughs> so I took this chance to isolate Lionheart from the clan and kill him. <laughs> Why am I explaining it to you? You're just a house pet. How much do you know? You want to become a clan cat? How naive. I'll sharpen my claws on you, kitty pet, before taking my next ThunderClan victim. <laughs> You're from Shadow Clan! What? Shadow Clan? Yeah! Graypaw told me Shadow Clan is the one threatening other clans. How interesting. You have some knowledge, kitty pet, but I could be from River Clan. From Windclan, or just a plain wild cat. I don't care who you are. All I know is that Graypaw will be in danger. Blue Star will be in danger. Hey, what are you doing? <sighs> Stop it, you two legs toy. <sighs> Do you think a newcomer like you can fight me? I'm lost. I don't know which way to go home. Or which way to run to camp. But one thing I do know is that if I let a cat like you run free without doing anything, then I'm lower than a house pet. <laughs> okay, try me then. It's only visible when it strikes. <laughs> That's it! I can see him in the moment of the attack! It's dangerous here! Don't come I here! His strength is nowhere near clan cats. I can see why he would be chosen by Blue Star. <laughs> Blue Star? You do have the heart of a warrior, young one. Lionheart? You're alive! Nice work, kid. We have seen everything. What you have just done was over what I expected. If it was in a real situation, you could have saved our clan from disaster. Let's go home now. Home? Go home? <gasps> hey, relax, uh, kid. Uh, thank you, White Storm. Don't mention it. You need a rest. We're very close to our camp now. We're almost there? Use your nose. You must be able to scent it. <laughs> I can smell cats. <laughs> <laughs> there will be a time, if you are accepted into the clan, when you will know each cat scent by name. Follow me. After you, Kit. <laughs> the grass here is flattened, and its smell is so strong. Could it be the main entrance into the camp? Ah, 
just after sun high, when the day is hottest, is a time for sharing tongues. Clan cats always spend time grooming each other, and sharing the news of the day. We call it sharing tongues. It is a custom that binds the members of the clan together. Here. Hmm? This is the nursery where the kids are cared for. <laughs> that must be one of the queens. The care of our kits is shared by all of the queens. All cats serve the clan. Loyalty to the clan is the first law in our warrior code. A lesson you must learn quickly if you wish to stay with us. Blue Star! So, this is agreed? Yes. I shall announce his arrival to the clan. Let all those cats old enough to catch their own prey join here beneath the high rock for a clan meeting. Yes, Blue Star. Let's go. What's going on? Who is he? Who's that? I don't know. Shh. Be quiet. Blue Star's Star going to say something. ThunderClan needs more warriors. Definitely not from our clan. Creepa! I've never seen him before. What did you just say? Is he? is he going to train with us? This is something new. Shh, be quiet! What's he doing? Lazar is going to say something. ThunderClan needs more warriors. Never before have we had so few apprentices in training. It has been decided that ThunderClan will take in an outsider to train as a warrior. I have found a cat who is willing to become an apprentice of ThunderClan. <laughs> well, lucky to become an apprentice. Lionheart and Whitestorm have met this young cat, and they agree with me that we should train him with the other apprentices. What is he doing? Uh, he looks too small. Look at this collar. <laughs> He's a kitty pet. Once a kitty pet, always a kitty pet. Huh? This clan needs wild born warriors to defend it. Not another soft mouth to feed. <laughs> that tabby is called Longtail. And he smells your fear, kid. They all do. <laughs> you must prove to him and to the other cats that your fear won't hold you back. Don't give up, kid. Your collar is the mark of the two legs. And that noisy jingling will make you a poor hunter at best. <laughs> and at worst, it will bring the two legs into our territory looking for their poor little helpless kitty pet who fills the woods with this pitiful ah, tinkling. Right? Yeah. The noise of your treacherous bell will alert our enemies. Will you back down from this challenge? <sighs> <laughs> Even if your two legs -like stench doesn't. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> well, did you see that? Somebody should stop them. Stick I do out. agree with Longtail. He is this is going head. to be great. <laughs> you sure do know how to pick your opponents, Kitty Pet. What are you talking about? Why don't you go back to your precious two legs? I, I can't watch this. This is going to be great. You're making this way too fun.
time to teach you a lesson. How come a weak kitty pet like you wants to become a warrior? Do you need some help, Kit? You must be hurting. Come take a rest, and we'll take you home. Uh, hey! Uh. Defeated already? Even for a kitty. I can still fight. No! <laughs> How did you do that? How come... Ah! A cat with such a long tail! Are you scared? Good. Every warrior should have a power of their own. Our ancestors, they have the strongest and most extraordinary powers. Over the years, the blood of these powerful fighters was spilt in war. And after many generations, this power has now been passed down to us. Without the blood of the ancient fighter, a kitty pet like you, a mouse-brained furball without months of training and respect towards the ancient warriors, will never become a true warrior. Longtail is a young warrior who has completed his training with constant, excellent feedback. His gifted ability is the cause of his personality. However, he is still, no doubt, a talented warrior of ThunderClan. Rusty is a kit being introduced to the wild for the first time. There is no chance of winning. He hasn't attempted an attack since the start. What is he waiting for? the right time to strike? Does he even have any idea what he's facing about Longtail? What is he trying to prove? The warm-up is finished, Kit. Now time to show you how a true warrior fights! Stop! Spotted Leaf? I had enough of all these unnecessary harms. This battle was finished before it started. Everybody knows you're the winner. But beating up a young kid won't make you a better warrior, but a bully with no respect for life. He may come from the outside, but isn't he still like you and me? He has the same red blood. He can feel the same pain and love. It's the heart that makes a warrior. A warrior's Get heart- Get out of my way! Ugh. How much do you know? You're just a medicine cat. You only exist for the weaker ones like him. <laughs> Mouse brain. Go, Rusty. Go teach him a lesson. As you grow up, there will be more... more pain, more unfair, more stronger enemies, more suffering, and you must learn to conquer them.
The newcomer has lost its two-leg collar in a battle for his honor. Star Clan has spoken its approval. This cat has been released from the hold of his two-leg owners and is free to join Thunder Clan as an apprentice. You look like a brand of fire in this sunlight. You have fought well. From this day forward, until he has earned his warrior name, this apprentice will be called Fireclaw, in honor of his flame-colored pelt. From now on, I'm the ThunderClan apprentice. I'm Firepaw. <coughs> Longtail, do you need some help? Leave me alone. Let me help you, Longtail. Hey, Fireball! <coughs> that was a great fight, especially for a kitty pet. Longtail is a warrior, although he only finished his training two moons ago. That scar you left on his ear won't let him forget you in a hurry. You've spoiled his good looks, so that's for sure. Hmm. He put up quite a fight, though. Rest here, and don't move. Your wound will heal soon. Relax. Uh, this will stop your bleeding. She's Spotted Leaf, our medicine cat. Not bad looking either. Younger and prettier than most. Lucky your collar snapped when it did. Longtail is a young warrior, but I can't imagine him being beaten by a kitty pet. Watch out! Now, Darkstripe is neither young nor pretty. <laughs> Small ears most trouble. <laughs> Ravenpaw? Why are you alone? Where's Tiger Claw? Ravenpaw? Tiger Claw? Ravenclaw's an apprentice. Tiger Claw is his mentor. Ravenpaw went out with Tiger Claw and Redtail at sunrise on a mission against River Clan. The lucky furball. Redtail? Er, all these names. Redtail is Booster's deputy. But why on earth has Ravenpaw come back alone? Ravenpaw! What's happened? Speak, Ravenpaw! Redtail! Redtail's dead! We met five Everclan warriors b beside the stream, not far from the Sunning Rocks. Uh, Okar was among them. Okard is the deputy of RiverClan. He's one of the greatest warriors in the forest. <laughs> Lucky Ravenpaw. I wish it could have been me. I'd have really... Hmm... <laughs> er... <laughs> Redtail warned Okard to keep his hunting parties out of ThunderClan territory. He said the next River Clan warrior to be caught hunting in our territory would be killed, but Okart would not back down. He said his clan had to be fed, no matter what we threatened. 
That's when the River Clan cats attacked. It was hard to see what was happening. The fighting was vicious. I remember Okar had Redtail pinned to the ground, but then. Redtail. How did this happen, Tiger Claw? He died with honor, struck down by Okart. I couldn't save him, but I managed to take Okart's life while he was gloating over his victory. Redtail's death was not in vain, for I doubt we'll see the River Clan hunters in our territory again. His spirit may have left to join Star Clan, but the clan will share tongues with Redtail one last time. Star Clan? Star Clan is the tribe of heavenly warriors that watch over all of the clan cats. You can see them in Silver Pelt. Silver Pelt is that thick band of stars you see each night stretching across the sky. Each star is a Star Clan warrior. Redtail will be among them tonight. Redtail was a brave warrior. His loyalty to ThunderClan could never be doubted. I always relied on his judgement, for it bore witness to the needs of the clan, and was never swayed by self-interest or pride. He would have made a fine leader. Dustpaw will be sad. He is Redtail's apprentice. I wonder who his new mentor will be. How long will Blue Star sit with him? Probably the whole night. Redtail was her deputy for many, many moons. She won't let him go too quickly. He was one of the best warriors. Not as big and powerful as Tiger Claw and Lionheart, but quick and clever. Huh? Spotted Leaf is trying to stop Ravenpaw's bleeding. Ravenpaw seemed really shaken up. He's always been a bit jumpy, but I've never seen him this bad before. So, Spotted Leaf, do you think you could save him? I've spent a lot of time training him up, and I don't want my efforts to be wasted on the first battle. Yes, a pity if, after all your valuable training, he dies in his first fight, hmm? Will he live? Of course, he just needs to rest. Come on, then get up! Look at the length of that claw! Two, right? I know I wouldn't want to get into a fight with him. Not so fast, Tyra Claw. This apprentice needs to keep as still as possible until the cut is healed. We don't want him opening his wound by jumping about trying to please you. Leave him alone. Even you know better than to argue with a medicine cat, Tyra Claw. I wouldn't dare argue with you, dear Spotted Leaf. Hmm? <laughs> hmm. Who's that? He's the new apprentice. He smells like a kitty pet. I was a house cat, but I'm gonna train to be a warrior! Huh. Yes, now I remember. Blue Star mentioned that she had stumbled across some stray kitty pet. So she's actually gonna try you out, is she? That's right. Then I shall watch your progress with interest. Do you think he liked me? I don't think Tiger Claw likes any apprentices. Is he gone? Who, Tiger Claw? Yep, he's gone. Hi there. Go away, both of you. How am I meant to help this cat with all these interruptions? Come on then, Firepaw. I'll show you around. See you later, Ravenpaw. You know the High Rock already. Blue Star always addresses the clan from there. Her den is down here. It's carved out of many moons ago by an ancient stream. 
The warriors sleep over here. The queens share warrior quarters when they work as warriors. When they're nursing kits, they stay in a nest near the nursery. What will you do with your newfound freedom? That's shopping made fast and easy, only in the Amazon app. The elders have their own place on the other side of the clearing. Come on, I'll show you. <laughs> Hello, youngster. Have you two eaten? No, not yet. Well, there's enough here. Dust pollen sand pods heading into fine young hunters. Now, would you mind if these youngsters shed a mouse one eye? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> you still haven't tasted a mouse yet? No, not yet. In that case, you can have the first bite. Just save me some. One of the apprentice duties is catching fresh kill for the clan. What do you think? Fantastic! Move over then. How long before Blue Star appoints a new deputy? What did you say, Small Ear? I think your hearing has become as poor as your eyesight. I said how long before Blue Star appoints a new deputy? Dappletail. Do you remember that day many moons ago when Blue Star herself was appointed deputy? Oh, yes. It was not long after she had lost her kits. She won't be happy appointing a new deputy. Redtail served her long and well. But she'll need to make up her mind quickly. According to clan custom, the choice has to be made before Moon High, after the death of an old deputy. At least this time, the choice is obvious. A new deputy must be appointed. But first, let us give thanks to Star Clan for the life of Redtail. Tonight, he sits with his fellow warriors among the stars. And now, I shall name Thunder Clan's new deputy. I say these words before the body of Redtail, so that his spirit may hear and approve my choice. Lionheart will be the new deputy of ThunderClan. Why didn't she make Tigerclaw deputy? Probably because Lionheart has been a warrior longer, so he's had a lot more experience. Redtail was also mentor to young Dustpaw. Since there must be no delay in the training of our apprentices, I shall appoint Dustpaw's new mentor immediately. Darkstripe, you were an exceptional mentor to Longtail, so you will continue Dustpaw's training. You had a fine mentor in Tigerclaw, and I expect you once again to pass on some of the excellent skills you were taught. I shall keep a vigil with Redtail's body tonight, before we bury him at sunrise. Should we sit with him too? No, only those who are closest to Redtail will share his final night. I'll show you where we sleep. The apprentice's den is over here. How many apprentices are there? Not as many as usual. Just me, you, Ravenpaw, Dustpaw, and Sandpaw. So here comes the new apprentice. Hello. <gasps> he smells like a kitty pet. Don't tell me I'm going to be sharing my den with that revolting stench. You'll have to excuse Sandpaw. I think she must have a furball stuck somewhere. She's usually not this bad-tempered. Huh. Hold on, youngsters. Sandpaw, as my apprentice, I expected you to be a little more welcoming to this newcomer. I'm sorry, White Storm. I just didn't expect to be training with a kitty pet. That's all. I'm sure you'll get used to it, Sandpaw. Anyways, it's getting late, and training starts early tomorrow. You two should get some sleep, too. Where do I sleep? <sighs> Anywhere. So long as it's not near me. This nest right here is all yours. Well, ooh, I'll see you in the morning, Fireball. Good night. Yeah, good night. Into the
cold exposing sun I was granted freedom tame to become the chosen one Through the mirror night reflected miraculous to see my soul threw away the mask that hides the deeper me Breaking the dark of night, piercing through the painted white Cut it all away from yesterday till a new era's inside Unlock the heart within, let it spread its wings and soar Rising up in flight through the night of white and fly on